Welcome to the third video of my Back to School series. In this video, you'll learn how to write an effective introduction for a literary analysis essay, which is an essay that focuses on a book, poem, or any other type of text. You'll want to stay until the end, since I've included a real example of an introduction that I used for an English class. A lot of English teachers talk about something called the funnel method, which is a strategy you can use to write the introduction. We'll go into why it's called the funnel in a second, but this is how the structure of your intro will usually go. You'll start with a broad abstract idea without mentioning the name of the text. That abstract idea will deal with the theme of the text, which is a universal commentary on human nature. Once you talk about this theme, you'll relate this to the text by explaining some background information or specific details. In this part of your introduction, you can mention the setting or character names or any relevant details from the text. Finally, the last sentence of your intro will be your thesis, the claim that you are trying to prove in your essay. So why is this called the funnel method? That's because a funnel starts out with a wide opening and narrows down to a small point. Your introductory paragraph will also start with a wide general abstract idea gradually narrow down with background information and become extremely specific with your thesis. Just as a funnel goes from wide to narrow, your intro will go from general to very specific. We're going to use the example of the play Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. If I were writing an introduction about this book, my abstract idea might deal with the idea of fate versus free will, and my thesis would explain Romeo and Juliet's fate. To come up with an abstract idea for your intro, you'll have to ask yourself a few questions. What motivates the characters? What is the end goal? What type of conflict exists? Is it man versus man, man versus nature, or man versus self? And what's the overall theme? Your background information about the text can include a variety of details. I often include a character profile if my essay focuses on a specific character. You might want to talk about the character's thoughts or motivations, their hopes, their flaws, and the obstacles that they face. Most importantly, do not retell the plot of the book in the introduction. Assume that your reader has already read the book and is an expert on it. So let's go over an example intro about the book Romeo and Juliet, the tragic love story between two teenagers whose families are enemies. My abstract idea is the concept that fate is unavoidable, and there is no such thing as free will. I would claim that many individuals misinterpret their fate or try to defy their destinies, which only pushes them closer to it. Notice how I haven't mentioned the title of the play yet, or the author. The background information would state that Romeo is a lovesick and reckless boy, whereas Juliet is an innocent girl who is hesitant to love at first but then goes all in. Both of these characters think that their marriage will prevent them from being split apart, but it only makes their separation even more imminent, or faster. Here's my thesis, my central claim. Romeo's impulsiveness and Juliet's ignorance prevent them from avoiding their destiny, enabling fate to deceive both lovers in Shakespeare's The Tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. I'll put a link to my video on how to write a literary thesis step-by-step -step at the end of this video. Here's a quick exercise for you to practice writing an introduction. Once I give you a specific theme topic, you can find a book or text that conveys that theme and write a few quick bullets explaining what your abstract idea, background information, and thesis would be. The first theme topic is freedom and independence. Some books that include this are Jane Eyre, Rebecca, and A Doll's House. The second theme topic is vengeance. Some texts that include this are Hamlet and Medea. The third theme topic is pride or hubris. Some books that include this are Antigone and Oedipus. Remember, you don't have to use these specific books. You can use your own. Comment below with your response to this exercise. That's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications whenever I make a new video. I am Miss Peer Editor, and I will see you next time.